Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason, and today we are back with some more of... Uh, <laughs> I forgot what game I was playing. Uh, uh, the Elder Scrolls Witcher. Right. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> well, back to the Witcher. Last time, we uh, we wandered around the swamp a bit more. Uh, we uh, killed a bunch of drowners, and we made our way to the... Um, well, according to the map, it's the the, the Striga's Crypt, which is within the cemetery. Uh, and, and we're being brought here by our our handy quest marker that says that this ties into the armor. Okay, I, I, I figured that we'd uh, go do the armor thing and then come back here later, but it seems like this might actually be part of the quest, so that's why we're here. Um, so, apparently the, um, the Striga's Crypt is here. So we're going to go ahead and get things started by talking to Velarad. Oh. Thanks, guy. Actually, maybe resting for an hour, get my health up, would not be a bad it's idea. Yeah, that might actually not be uh, a terrible idea. I do love how these guys are all hanging out here. Like even even the knights are hanging out with all these wraiths and stuff over there in the cemetery. Like we've seen how well regular humans do against monsters, no, really and this place is just just full of them. Um, and the only thing I can think of is that the uh, the representation of We'll say human strength in this game might not be completely accurate, uh, or maybe, maybe you know, we I haven't seen fully armored knights. I haven't seen how well they actually perform against monsters. So I don't know. Whatever. Let's uh, enough speculation and chatting about you know how uh, the game mechanics tie into uh, lore and how you know how canonical the strength is. Uh, let's talk to Velarad. Damn, it's hot in this thing. Greetings, Geralt. Faltes asked me to check on your progress. Trust is fundamental. True, but this particular monster is his daughter. Why are you here? Faltest well knows someone meddled with the curse. He cannot believe Ada turned into a beast by herself. The crypt may hide evidence. Faltest asks that you search the sarcophagus where the princess sleeps. Surrender any evidence you find. I'll fulfill the king's order. Now show me to the princess. Follow me. Oh man, someone's gonna die. We're, we're, we're in the middle of the night, going to the Striga's crypt, where the Striga, I'm pretty sure, is aware of its own, uh, uh, of her own weakness, that, um, that, uh, basically if someone spends the night in, uh, or around, uh, the crypt, it can break the curse, so. Oh, you're just gonna stay up there? That's cool, Velarad, just, just send me in alone. Um, I'm a little disappointed that the, it's some reused architecture. Uh, what have we got here? Um, uh, hmm. It's interesting. What are we standing on? Interesting. So, okay, we've got these two... What, what, are, what are those? those? It's like two halves of those, um... Orchard chamber mabob things? Those are actual bones. So, this is, this is an interesting crypt where they've actually got, uh... People up on the uh, up on the walls and the pillars. Um, let's see this, this something like this looks interesting. You, why why do you have something that looks like a doorway might be there, unless there was an actual doorway there at some time? I'm guessing that's what happens. Like people were buried, and then they bricked up the uh, the entrance to it, and it became visible. Because if if you're building something underground, you're not gonna just you know, every every inch that you uh, put into a place, it's going to take work. And I can't imagine that they decided, uh, you know, a, a couple places are like, Oh wait, we don't need a door here, uh, just, just uh, seal that off. Where they start building doors and then decide they're not going to continue going. That seems a little strange to me. So I'm going to assume that uh, these are maybe uh, bricked up um, passages to other um, other tombs or... Whatever. So, now, this is the Striga's crypt, but I doubt that this entire crypt was made just for the Striga. So, I'm curious, is this a, is this a, a it can't be a royal tomb. So, which way do I go? I'm gonna go this way. This, I see something. Uh, do I break up my cat potion? Yeah, I might need to. Things are really dark in here. Uh, I, I did create another one, though. So, yeah, we're good. There we go. It'll make things a little bit more, uh... A little bit easier to navigate. Um, well, that, that, that looks like a person with armor. So, like, this is not just some like peasant's crypt, though. Something was in there and broke out. 
That'd be my understanding. Because you've got the, the bars, right? The bars, they look like they're bent outward. Well, at least one is. But then again, I don't know, like, how would some- if somebody was trying to get into here, what would they do? They- they- would they break? Like, would they- would they- I don't know, I, I don't even know how you do that. Um, alright, so nothing here. I'm so, I'm sorry, I'm actually a little bit more, um... I'm, I'm being a little bit more slow this time around, where I'm just like... I, I'm looking at the details, because I'm curious about this thing, I'm like, well, like, what? Um... Because a lot of times, I, like, I, I- I found this especially when uh, I was playing... Let me see. Uh, yeah, we'll go down first. I don't want to rush to the objective just yet. Um, oh, there's a fireplace here. So there was a cave-in, I guess, by this fireplace. So this guy, this guy, uh, bit it. Um, especially, like, when I was playing, um, Dark Souls, you know, I would pay attention to every little detail. And I kind of like that, because, you know, a lot of times with, with the way, um, the artists work, they'll leave little hints to things. I'm get- ooh, is that the Strigas? Crap. Crap. Oh, I knew it! Alright, uh, alright, let's just sort of try running a bit. Uh, we- we don't want to be lethal. Uh, will Hex work? Come on, let's just try something. Yeah, that worked beautifully, alright. Uh, I need to stay on the other side. I don't want to hurt the Striga. I want to be able to investigate. Crap, I can't while the... While it's coming after me. So I've got to come back during the day, I think. The candle went out. Does that indicate how long I have to, uh, survive around here? So if I just run around the sarcophagus, like, the, the rest of the, of the night, then I, I'm guessing that that, uh, that's enough. And I'm guessing after every little period of time, the, uh, the candles will go out, indicating that I've, I've survived for long enough. That's, that's my guess? So is that all I have to do? I just need to keep running around in circles? Now, Geralt can't do what he did in the, the intro, like, sitting inside the sarcophagus, waiting for her, uh, because, well, ob obviously it looks kind of broken, so I don't think that's an, an option anymore. Yeah. It'll this be dumb soon. If I'm to kill her, I don't have much time left. No, I think we're going to, um... I, I think I decided that, uh, we- I wanted to, um... To keep her alive. We wanted to, to cure her of it, and if she's... If she's responsible for it... Um... Then we'll let the, the law take care of her. Uh, if the law would take care of her. And if it won't take care of her, then... Um... I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> really? That's all this is gonna be? Oh man, I, I wish that, um... Yeah, what was it? Um... Yakety sax. <laughs> I wish that wasn't like copyright material, because that, that would this would be a prime time for me to just sort of you know speed things up and play that over top of that. I mean, can they can they copyright my like my 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 humming or like? No. Yeah, oh crap! It's coming at me backwards. You know, it's like, you know, I could just fast forward through all this and then just commentate after, because this seems like it's stupidly easy. It, like, to the point where I'm kind of like, this is poorly designed. Uh, if I, if I was in charge of this, I would have given her, like, an ability to, like, jump over things. Because right now, I'm just using this as, a, like, a barrier, and I just need to keep her on the other side of it. It's, it's, it's way too easy. Uh, you know, have her jump over things, or, um... I don't know, give her a, a little bit more range on her attack so she can attack me through it, so I have to move a little bit further away, and then that res uh, means that I have to have, a, like, a wider berth around the sarco sarcophagus, which then means that, 
you know, the, it, it slows my rate of being able to get around it. Like, little mechanical things could have been done here to uh, make this a more meaningful um, encounter. Because right now, this is just... Simple? The sun is rising. Just a few moments more, and the sky is spell will be broken. Um... Yeah, because this is, um... This is kind of dull. <laughs> Being entirely honest. You know, I'm just gonna put my sword away, I don't need it. I'm just gonna run around. Um... Yeah, so I guess we'll, we'll cure the Striga. I, I was really, um... I'm actually really disappointed. Because, you know, they start the game off with that. You know, you have this cutscene. It's like, all right, cool. And then you kind of have this sort of full circle moment where you're like, sweet, I'm going to encounter the Striga again. And then it's like, no, just just kidding. You're going to... Like, I, I went through all this preparation. I was like, uh, you know, leveling up. I'm like, okay, what am I going to need if I want to keep this thing at bay? I'm going to be using my Yurden sign. All these different things. You know, I was planning out in my head. I'm <laughs> she just decides, I'm gonna lay, lay down and go to sleep. I'm gonna speak with Ada now, free of the spell that held her. Now, first, I'm checking for for clues. Uh, Ostrich Journal. The journal of a man responsible for Ada being born a Striga. We will have to read that. I'll take that. Uh, there's also a trunk over here. What do we... Oh. The Last Wish. <gasps> Good book, good book. I, I would actually recommend uh, everyone read. Okay, we need to get rid of some crap. There's some crap in my, my pockets right now that I do not need. Against non-humans? Gone. Um, take the last wish. Diamond dust? Yeah, this should stack. Alchemical paste. Okay, that's going in there. Alchemist powder? That's not going to stack with anything. I need to get rid of uh, squirrel puff? Sure, I don't care. Um, uh, getting its acid. Cool. Uh, wait. Top quality base for Blake. I almost left that there. Like, no, 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 no. We need to... We need that. Um, I have a ton of flint. I don't need these three extra flint. There we go. Perfect. Um, so we got two books. Um, maybe I should talk with Ada first. And then before we leave, we got, we've definitely got to go check out that other wing. Um, because that's what, uh, evidently what we need for the... You know, maybe I could have, I could have gone down that other wing, got the armor, and then came back, but I, obviously we didn't need it! Uh, alright, Ada, how are you doing? I... where am I? Ada, you alright? What happened? It's over. You're well again. Geralt... Don't worry, you're safe. I'll take you home. Oh... my hands... they're covered in blood. I... Killed, murdered so many people, oh. It wasn't your fault. Don't think about that. It's behind you. I remember, through a fog. It was important. I concealed something in the sarcophagus. You must see it. All right, I will. Hold me, Geralt. I feel so cold. It's this crypt. We should go. You'll feel better outside. Okay. I have proof now to get out of this script. Okay. Um, we're going to read that now. Uh, Ostrich Journal. I curse you, Fortest, and hope you rot amidst worms in hell. I curse your inc uh, incestuous deeds. Your sister Ada deserved better. I implore destiny to render the child born of your lechery as monstrous as you. If the witch spoke truly, you will soon taste my vengeance. I need only prepare the ingredients, and utter the words thrice. Some say that not even the words are necessary, that hatred alone suffices. Know that my hatred is fierce. On the margin, someone made notes, as if researching how to renew the curse of Astriga. Alright, so, yeah, she's the, she's the victim here. Uh, this dude went ahead and made, um, turned her back into a... a Striga. Um... New entry for Ada. I don't know if we read the entire thing. Whatever, we'll read it. 
At Luvarden's reception, I had the chance to meet Princess Ada. Some years ago, I re uh, relieved her of the streak of curse, and the princess was, has grown uh, into a pretty, if somewhat wild and spoiled girl. It turned out that Ada was behind the forgery of the royal seals and responsible for the chaos in the trade quarter. Really? I, I, maybe it wasn't clear, or I forgot. I don't think that was entirely clear. <laughs> maybe, maybe it just didn't occur. Well, whatever. The princess had been collaborating with Salamandra. Yeah, I knew that. But it seems this alliance was too much for her. Thanks to Triss's intervention, I managed to escape Ada's claws by the skin of my teeth. According to the professor's notes, Ada uh, collaborated with Salamandra. She was behind the counterfeiting of the royal seal and forged the proclamation of the state of emergency. She was promised the throne of Temeria, though in reality, Salamandra believed her to be unpredictable. The organization planned to break the alliance. Princess Ada was born Ostriga as a result of Ostrid's curse. The magnate was in love with the king's sister and Ada's mother, whose name was also Ada. Okay. When he learned of the incestuous relationship between the king and his sister, Ostrid, Aust yeah, Ostrid put a curse on the king and described the process in his diary. Whoever possesses the diary may renew the curse and transform Ada back into Ostriga. I kind of feel like it needs to be destroyed then. Hey, yeah, yeah. Everyone with me on that one? Um, the last wish. The work mainly discusses fire genies, also known as Ifrits. This book adds a bestiary entry to the journal. There's a lot more than that in the last wish. I already had uh, the entry on Ifrits. Uh, but I'm gonna... Is that... Okay, yeah, that's the same, uh... It's the same, uh... Uh, trunk. All right, so we'll check out the um, the northern uh, passage. Let me see map. No, not the northern. The um, sorry, I, I guessed eastern, but it hooks north, so same thing, right? Did I save? I should save. There we go. Saving. Game saved. Um, now if anything's in here, I'm going to be surprised because the Striga should have basically claimed the territory and kill everything in here. Um. What do we got here? Fireplace, Wayfair Stone. What the heck? Wayfarer? Sorry. I guess I can't interact with this just yet. Um, Yellow Meteorite, which I can't take because I have a bunch of other crap. Do I need Flitter Fangs? No, I don't. I could take the Yellow Meteorite, though. Even though, at this point in the game, I don't feel like I'm, I'm even going to use it. Use it. It's, um... It's weird. Uh, I I don't feel like a lot of my upgrade stuff was even necessary. Um, like despite the game being on hard, like yeah, I I, I like I, I just don't I didn't I don't feel like it was really that hard. Um, or or like the upgrade uh, the upgrading in the the game is not really it's not a, ma a major focus of the game. I don't I feel I feel like the mechanics are kind of come second despite being very mechanically heavy. If that makes sense. Notes of an elven minstrel. A scroll of old parchment covered in ornamental elven writing. All I need now is Agnes de, de Glanville's magic formula. A diamond. Oh, I want stuff! I need to throw away more things. Squirrel puff, don't care. Um, diamond is probably worth more than... Wolf pelts? Sure. Go, go away. Thanks. <laughs> just, just dropping stuff. Like I, I don't even care at this point. We're, we're, I feel like we're so far in the game that it's just, it's. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna need half this crap. My, my money situation is really not bad. Um, like I, I, I don't need a ton of cash. Uh, <laughs> famous last words. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna go for the, uh, for the, the armor, and it's gonna be like, all right, it's gonna cost you ten thousand orns to create this armor, and I'm gonna be like, crap. All right, whatever. Uh, crypt exit. That's it. Uh, all right. So we dealt with the striga. That was um, that was way too easy. Hey, Velrad, how you doing? And shutting me in that crypt. Nice gesture, Velrad. Sorry, which uh, king's orders? The princess is freed. Ada, Velrad will take you home. Witcher, second time I underestimated you. Third time's a charm. Faltus gave me something for you in the event that you survived. This is the devil, a Zerikanian scimitar. The legends say it was tempered in dragon's blood. Someone induced the princess's transformation into a striga. I have proof. Where? 
The king wanted to be the first to know. Fine. Is that all? The king said, if you want to cure the disease, you must go to the old manor. He uh, said you would understand. I do. Farewell. Farewell, Witcher. Whoa. Ah, with... Damn it. Hot okay, I got thing. rewarded with a fine sword. It got put on my back. What happened to my other sword? Where's my other sword? Oh, Harvel's on the ah, ground. Okay. Damn it. Hot in this thing. Uh, let me see. Uh, Diab uh, Diabl? Oh, he called it Devil, right? Okay. Uh, damage 30%, chance of critical, uh, effect pain 50, uh, critical effect disarm 25%. A steel sword used to fight humans, ineffective against most monsters used in Witcher combat styles. So 30% damage, 50 pain, 25 disarm. Yeah, actually, uh, I, th I think I'd rather have Harvel, though. Uh... Then uh, maybe the meteorite sword. Let me, let me see. Harvel? 30. So disarm pain and precise hit is 20%. Yeah, it's a little bit better. I feel kind of. I feel bad. I'm like, holy crap. This is the. Uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm actually. I've got like some decent weapons. And you know, it's not like a lot of other RPGs where, um, you know, you could just load stuff up in your uh, your inventory, which makes sense. You know, this, this is, makes a lot more sense than uh, most RPGs. Uh, but I feel bad leaving the meteorite sword on the ground now. All right. Well, I guess we'll we'll save. We'll commit. Uh, damn, it's hot in this thing. Um, cool. I, I'm gonna get a chance to use this cool sword. Well, if they, it gave me a cool sword now. There's bound to be plenty more fighting uh, in the future. Uh, all right. Let's damn, let's talk to some people. Carold. Do you feel all right? Yes. Better. I need to ask you about Salamandra. Oh, Geralt. That terrible professor. It's his fault. He tricked me, promised me power and glory. I haven't seen any salamander since he was killed. The professor couldn't have created those mutants. Did he ever mention a mage? He came here once with this repulsive man, Abdul or something. The professor called him a powerful sorcerer. That's all I know. Know where I might find him? Unfortunately not. Were they just carrying her clothes for her? I would assume, because there was a chance that Geralt would show up with her okay. So they're like, ah, yeah, we'll bring some clothes just in case. Uh, damn, it's hot in this thing. Um, wait. I, 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 it just, it just occurred to me that when she came to, that she was wearing, like, underwear. I'm like, wait a second. Interesting, because the, the game doesn't shy away from nudity, but in this case here, I, I guess it was too much trouble to r model the character different way. <laughs> this knight's just like, yo, get out of the way, Ada. You see the world, they said. All right, so I guess we're um, done with that. Now, an old manor. I don't know what old manor he's referring to. Uh, this is a... Uh, this bridge is out. Yep, that bridge is most definitely out. Okay, so what do we need uh, for the uh, the raven, uh, for the armor? All I need now is Agnes de Glanville's magic formula. Who's Agnes de Glanville? I don't know who this is. Uh, it's Jason, it's, it's uh, Agnes de Glanville. I, I don't know who that is. Uh, I guess we'll follow our, our map marker. Our map marker, Mac marker. Wait, it's telling me to go back to the... No, it's telling me to go to the refugees camp. Cave. Refugees cave. Okay, so we'll run back to the refugees cave, and uh, then uh, we'll talk to somebody there about uh, the armor. Because that, that's my main objective. We just happen to do the Striga thing. We'll uh, complete that quest um, later. R right now, I uh, I want to... I kind of want to sell stuff off. Maybe the refugee camp will have like a vendor that I can uh, offload some of my crap. Um, because my pockets are full, and I'm having to leave valuable things on the ground, so... Ugh. Darn it, it's you guys again. Wait, you didn't die in like one hit? Oh, I'm disappointed. Um, where is, okay, it's around, it's, a, it's around this little corner. Oh, here it is. Is this it? No. Go away. All right, so the refugee cave is supposed to be here according to this map. Oh, I'm willing to bet because I was being chased. Ah, that's right. Yeah, I was in combat. That's why I wouldn't let me go in. All right, cave entrance. All right, let's see. Uh, 
How's it in camera rocks? Okay, well, we'll, we'll check down there in a bit. Um, I'm gonna, f I'm actually gonna follow the marker this time. Uh, but yeah, it seemed like they actually locked me in there, uh, so I guess I couldn't have, uh, gone in. Uh, it's, it's like, you have to deal with the Striga before you do this quest. Period. Wayfarer's Stone, another one of these. Can't interact with it. What, uh, what's that? What is that for? Um, um, z z z Why am I having a hard time with this? z z z Zdenek. Zdenek? Zdenek. 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 Okay. Sure. There are Tavrivia, which I'm for some time now. Renowned fist fighter. They say you have no name. Call me Zdenek for now. You don't look like a famous boxer. So you say. Care to challenge me? Good guess. Ready to fight? Um... No, no, not right now. Like, I haven't had a chance to save. What if you kick the crap out of me? I have a question first. I have a question. I don't care. But. Fight or shove off. Okay. All right, we're saving. We're gonna, we're gonna fight. This old guy's gonna kick the crap Ready out of Geralt, isn't he? Ready to fight? Ready to fight? Yes. Always. Swing away, then. Ow. Oh, what the? Throw a punch! Holy crap, I'm clicking! This, the, 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 the dodge, it does nothing! Oh, uh, okay, just, just, just don't do anything, that's cool. We're, you know, just, just exchange blows. Just, just keep hitting me, that's cool. Like, okay, the, the, the dodging thing obviously doesn't do anything. So I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna keep clicking. Just keep- keep clicking. Punch him. Punch him, Geralt. Punch him good. There we go. That was so janky. Congratulations! Only a few have ever beaten me. A few? They said you were undefeated. Only because I reserve the right for a rematch each time. None has beaten me twice. <sighs> Another time, I'm tired. Hey, you know, the guys... The champion and I are scheduled for a rematch. Really? Holy crap. Okay, so, I, I I can't just... Hmm. I can't just... Work... Okay, um... Because if I, if I have another fight with him now, he's going to beat me. Do I have... I... Yeah, I was, I was going to say... Should I get the, um... Uh... There's, um... There's the option, or, uh, the, uh, the drinking one, right? I don't have that talent, though. Because I was thinking, like, man, if I could, uh, use that, I could just, like, drink a bunch and then get into a fight with him. I don't want to use Swallow. You know what, screw it. I'm out of time. Uh, I'm not gonna use Swallow. I'm gonna try to just beat him straight up. If I lose, oh, well, that'll end the episode. If I win, hey, cool, that'll end the episode. Uh, we're just we're gonna try to be a bit smarter this time. And by smarter, I mean do one the exact same thing. Per day. I'm old and tired. Okay, that makes things easy. I guess we'll just rest and then beat him. Uh, Swim Mushroom. Uh, these are so common. There we go. We're just dropping stuff left, right, and center. Uh, new talents acquired. There we go, perfect! New talents acquired. What did, what did I acquire? Did I level- Oh, I did level up, didn't I? Alright, we'll end things with a level up. There we go. That's, that's, I think that's a good way to end things. Um, one a day. So do I have to actually come back like 24 hours later? That's my guess. All right. Um, crap. What was I doing last time? Potion toxicity. That's 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 cool. All right. Give me a second to take a, take a look at what gold talents I could pick from uh, real quick. Um, because obviously we've already dealt with the striga, so my priorities have shifted a bit. All right. You know what? I find my uh, fast silver. Is not very effective. I find sometimes I end up fighting an enemy for a little bit too long with that. Uh, so I'm gonna go with flash cuts three, uh, damage plus thirty percent. I'm gonna get myself my fast sil silver level um, level uh, level four. Um, and now I just need to apply a um, a bronze talent and a uh, 
and a gold talent. Now, I'm looking at the fast silver, and it's got, you know, a blinding effect. What do I have that actually gives a blinding effect? I think I'm going to go with the level 5 strength uh, for my gold talent. Uh, damage plus 20%, parry plus 10%, vitality plus 150, and I get resistance to bleeding and knockdown resistance. So, that's pretty good. And it looks like I get a blinding effect from Axie, which I have been basically neglecting but since I don't have a silver talent left uh, you know maybe if I could make um, my Axie a little bit more desirable um, by getting blinding because that will work nicely in with my fast silver that'd be nice so uh, I guess we'll go with the uh, I don't know extended duration <laughs> there we go put a couple points into Axie kind of uh, even uh, even things out a little bit give myself a little bit more range and options and then maybe next level um eh, it's not that far off I'm about halfway there now uh then i can try to get go for phase yeah that sounds good uh so we'll go ahead and meditate and we're gonna end things here so if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you did not leave it a thumbs down either way let me know what you thought in the comment section and until next time i would like to ask you all to game on